Hey guys, Jared back. So I just wanted to do a quick little video on the Nexus 4. I know that we're all caught up in the new KitKat news, but that said, somewhere in there is uh, the release of um, CyanogenMod 10.2 Android 4.3.1 M1 release, which is uh, basically, for those of you that don't know what that means, it's basically uh, one step closer to their uh, final, uh, most stable release of a CyanogenMod. mod. Um, so I went into the change log and uh, to go and check out the official change log, you know, what have they done, what's different with uh, M1. Um, really not much different, uh, with the exception of something for those of you that have a device that have um, a dedicated camera button. If you have a dedicated camera button, then by half pressing the shutter button you'll be able to launch the uh, camera application uh, I believe from the home screen um, also I believe also if you double tap the home button from what I understand you should be able to launch the uh, camera application as well um, anyways other than that that's gonna be for maybe two or three devices out there at the most but for those of us that don't have those devices more specifically like Sony Xperia devices um, everything else is just translations translations on the lock screen the clock file manager everything translations 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 so nothing really too exciting here um, so because of that I'm just gonna kind of go over some of the things I haven't flashed that engine mod in a little while now or been using I should say as my uh, main um, ROM so I'm just gonna kind of go over some of the um, I guess settings and features that are new to me though may not be new to a lot of you out there that who use uh, Sanjimon ritualistically. Uh, so for me, um, the torch is new to see in the um, quick tile settings. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. Um, so we can go down here and I'll just kind of maybe run through some of these, see if there's anything new to me um, that may be new to some of you guys out there. Um, I think where I'm probably going to end up noticing uh, the changes for me is at least where I like to look, uh, depending on, the, you know, as far as device specific settings go, is right actually down to the more options there. And this is usually where you'll find device specific settings. So uh, we have color calibration, so on screen color, so you can calibrate it. There's a lot of custom ROMs out there, such as uh, Faux 1234's ROMs, um, where if you download his Fox Clock app or Faux Clock app, I, depending on how you want to say his name, um, he has a bunch of different uh, uh, color calibration settings and options in there. Uh, different gamma calibration settings as well, uh, vibrator intensity, and launch your music app as soon as you plug in your headset or even, you know, just any 3.5mm uh, audio jack. Uh, into your device. Um, we also have some new wallpapers actually, so if we go ahead and long press on the home screen here and I jump into CM wallpapers, uh, we've got some new wallpapers from Matthew Hanley. Um, so we'll just kind of run through those, see if there's anything you like. I think they're really nice, um, sort of artsy fartsy type um, wallpapers. I think they're pretty and they'll you know represent a nice 720p display, at least on your Nexus 4. Um, other than that though, one thing that I was a little bit surprised to see was the lack of actual like official Sanish mod panels. Oh, these are official, I suppose, now that they're embedded in the ROM, but you know, those actual like super custom um, Android uh, wallpapers with like the little CM uh, Sanish mod, the Sid guy or whatever the hell his name is, you know, all over the place um, so I don't know where those went because you know if we go back into here and I click on wallpapers it's just the standard sort of um, Android Nexus type old-school wallpapers that are boring and nobody gives a shit about anymore uh, now for those of you that are wondering about Android 4.4 at least I should say Sanj Mod 11 um, they're gonna be finishing up uh, CM 10.2 uh, before they get started on uh, CM 11 um, you know just because they want to make sure that they finish it up first um, they did say however they didn't give us an exact date but gave us sort of a a rust estimate uh, in terms of maybe I think it was like three weeks or so is when they're going to start looking into and considering um, Cyanage Mod 11. I say considering, but it's like, well, where the hell else are they going to go, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, that's basically all I wanted to show you. Um, if you have a Nexus 4, well, you're probably going to see a HTC One video and a Galaxy S4 video on the same thing, so you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. Just thought I'd give you a little update. If you have Cyanogen Mod, now is probably a great time to uh, update your device. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.